7 Subjects You Should Keep Private, True Stoicism Epicurus, one of the titans of Stoic thought, wisely remarked, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Such simplicity in words yet profound implications about the very nature of our conversations. Stoicism, through its myriad teachings, offers a compass directing us towards meaningful and balanced interactions. But within its vast teachings are nuances and subtleties often overshadowed by the more renowned lessons. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover seven subjects that might be prudent to sidestep in our dialogues. Come along as we delve into these lesser-discussed tenets, arming ourselves with the knowledge to engage more thoughtfully and serenely in the world around us. Subject number one, other people's flaws. We've all been there. In gatherings where casual banter turns into discussions about someone else's actions, choices, or character. The allure of gossip can be powerful, but what do we truly achieve by indulging in it? At its core, this practice sidetracks us from our personal growth journey, sowing seeds of negativity in our minds and the environment around us. For instance, imagine being at a family dinner where Aunt Martha's penchant for being perennially late becomes the evening's gist. These conversations might offer a fleeting sense of camaraderie or superiority, but they erode the bonds of trust and companionship over time. Instead of focusing on others' flaws, let's channel that energy towards understanding our own behaviors and attitudes. As Marcus Aurelius said, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. B1. Isn't it more enriching to lead by example, demonstrating virtue in our actions and words? By refraining from discussing others' flaws, we're not just avoiding negativity, we're making a proactive choice to foster positivity, trust, and growth within ourselves and our circles. Subject number two, your personal wealth or lack thereof. In our digital age, where social media often presents displays of affluence and curated success, discussing personal wealth can become precarious. Beneath these discussions and comparisons lies a turbulent undercurrent of envy, pride, insecurity, or even despair. True wealth is not just materialistic affluence but a state of contentment, understanding, and appreciating what we have rather than yearning for what we don't. While sharing and celebrating success is wonderful, it's essential to tread with sensitivity and awareness, ensuring we're not inadvertently sowing seeds of inadequacy or discontent in ourselves or others. Subject number three, past grievances. Carrying the weight of past grievances is like hauling a heavy backpack on a long journey. Constantly discussing or reliving these grievances intensifies the burden and prevents us from fully experiencing the present moment and the potential joys it offers. By recalling Seneca's words, the greatest remedy for anger is delay, we can approach past grievances with a clearer, more balanced mind. By releasing these grievances, we unburden our souls and open up space for more positive experiences and relationships to flourish. Subject number four, predicting the future. While foresight and planning are commendable, obsessively trying to predict every twist and turn can become an exhausting, anxiety-ridden endeavor. Instead of getting lost in the maze of what-ifs, let's ground ourselves in the present moment and focus on actionable, meaningful steps aligned with our values and goals. Subject number 5, Petty Controversies. The magnetic pull of controversy caters to our innate curiosity and desire for connection, even if it's over topics that seem insignificant. Yet, these minor distractions, if allowed to persist, can accumulate, morphing into significant obstacles in our personal and professional lives. By consciously choosing where we direct our attention, we reclaim our mental space, ensuring it's reserved for endeavors that align with our aspirations and values. Let's sail these waters, anchoring ourselves in discussions of depth and substance, steering clear of the ephemeral whirlpools that seek to draw us in. Subject number 6, Vain Displays of Knowledge While the pursuit of knowledge is noble, flaunting it without genuine purpose can become isolating. True wisdom lies not in reciting facts but in applying them meaningfully, fostering connections, and uplifting ourselves and others. By aligning our quest for knowledge with the genuine intention of personal growth and positive contribution, we ensure that our wisdom becomes a beacon of light for ourselves and those around us. 
Subject number 7, Obsessive Self-Criticism In an era where perfection is often celebrated, it's common to hold ourselves to incredibly high standards. However, incessantly critiquing every action and thought can become counterproductive, hindering spontaneity, reducing creativity, and impacting overall well-being. By fostering a mindset of growth, compassion, and understanding, we can achieve a harmonious balance that fuels progress without compromising well-being. Understanding the nature of our conversations, both internal and external, can significantly shape our experiences and perceptions. As we've delved into today, there are subjects that, when ruminated upon excessively, can distort our vision and stifle our growth. I encourage you all to pause, introspect, and evaluate the narratives you often find yourselves entwined in. If you like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching.